The music of The Who that I've heard so far makes me really feel like this band can do anything. They can do angry, loud music. They can make these sort of conceptual pieces. They can be kind of punk rock. They've got all these different aspects. They can do a ballad, uh, tender lyrics angry lyrics they, they really have this brilliant range to their music and as i learn more about the backstory as well like the dynamics of the band they apparently didn't get along very well there's a ton of fighting infighting and it all led to this moment where the band felt like they, that they were maybe going to part ways and this was a track from this album which is the last to feature that very classic lineup as keith moon passes away soon after i think it's drug related issues that he dies from but it was seen as a bit of a comeback a re kind of uh, branding or establishment a last uh, piece of this voice of this period that they have so this is going to be an interesting listen i've not heard enough of their music in my opinion because they've got these fantastic conceptual albums which i think is fucking fantastic for a band to go for something so big and epic like they always do let's check this one out see what this last period had to offer who are you by the who Whoa. Very different sound from who's next. Oh. Definitely heard this part before. Okay, I've heard this somewhere in some kind of like British media something. That is, I, someone's going to let me know who's for the UK listeners, man. What is this from? This has been used as a sample for something, right? In an advert or a famous show or something like that. Something, right? Okay, it looks like it's a day in the life kind of thing going on. I think he's he's we're following a day in the life of one of the band members, right? Um, again, another conceptual record. I'm kind of trying to place as well where he is because he says he's in Soho doorway. A policeman knew my name, so I thought maybe Soho in the US. But he says I took the tube back out of town, so he's in London, right? Uh, interesting. Let's keep this keep this rolling. See, I love the chorus, man. interesting am i looking too deep into it when i say when they say who are you is that because they've lost themselves as a band is that the point of that so they don't even know who they are anymore maybe because the police officer doesn't recognize him
really interesting kind of development of their early style. They had this ability, right? I think Rock Opera was the name previously. They used synthesizers. They used, they had these kind of strange operatic elements to their music. So I can totally see that this is like a version of that just progressed, move forward. They're doing different things, but it's got the same spirit for sure. Oh. Super interesting synth sound. I don't think I've heard that before. love how much is going into the music of this thing there's so many little trinkets and bits in the background those pianos are beautiful man oh is that a, is that a synthesizer track man how the majority of this song is this just one chorusy bit was it repetitive yeah maybe it's still a lot of fun it's still a lot of fun because they did a lot with the same part again they added new instruments um i read about the fact that they had or pete townsend who wrote the track met up with some of the members of the sex pistols and he was talking about how the band was about to like break apart and the sex pistol members who were a fan of the who because the who had elements of like punk stylings to it they're angry they did rebellious things they were they were nutters they were all on mad amounts of drugs um and the sex pistol members were saying to him like don't break up and it was like a jolt for pete because he felt like they were so selling out at that period of time and here these kids who are making this angry rebellious style of music that they used to make so maybe it's what inspired the track that's what I was saying. Is this, when they say, who are you? Is that meaning like they don't know who they are as a band anymore? That's what I took away from it. Interesting song. Again, very conceptually rich, like crazy track, operatic, you can say, with lots of elements of like pianos and synthesizers and all that stuff going on. Great drumming by Keith Moon. He sounds like he's on smack. Cool song, man. I liked it. Catch you guys on the next one.